coming up in the street. That the more that they try to insert themselves into your lives and into your business, in their head, they think that they're pushing you and, you and your partner further away from each other. But in reality, the complete opposite is actually happening. Hi Leo, let's do your love reading for December. If love isn't your thing, then you can check out your lifestyle reading that I released at the start of the month. Please read my description box below and the pinned comment for any information that you need about me, the decks that I'm using, my upload schedule and the private reading information as well. To reveal the description box, if you're on mobile, then click below where it says more. And please do keep in mind that this is general, so you only take what resonates for you, especially if you're cross-watching. So you can flip it, reverse it, take it or leave it. And finally, if you don't want to miss a video, then subscribe and stay notified. Okay, so Leo, your first card out is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime, so you found the one. And then you've got very soon, um, that spun round in reverse. Clearly decide what it is that you want as it comes to you now. With that spinning in reverse, it indicates, Leo, that um, either you or your love interest, either or, because it's interchangeable, like, th there's no confusion. Um, this is an immediate recognition between two people, between two souls, and there is no confusion. And under there, you've got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Um, well, Leo, going by this, you can fully expect the month of December to, um, to heat up for you. I'll tell you what I'll do, just so the table looks nice. I'll put that the correct way up, but we all know it came out in reverse, okay. Um, yeah, things things are getting really heated in a good way when it comes down to your love life here, Leo. And you've got reconciliation underneath there. Someone from your past is returning to your life, but I don't feel that that's something that you're looking at. Um, I don't feel that that's going to be an issue for many of you because you very much focus on the love interest that's right in front of you. Definitely. What's going on, please, for Leo in love for December? With heart space, head space and actions, please, for Leo. Thank you. Right, so Leo, in someone's head space is the Ten of Cups and Death with the Ten of Swords. Okay, that's an, that's an interesting combination. Perhaps there's a situation here, Leo, where somebody disapproves. Somebody outside of your relationship does not agree with the person that, that you've fallen in love with. Something like that. Why is that Ten of Swords here, please? And in this deck as well, You'll notice that the swords are actually in someone's front rather than in their back. So this is something that somebody saw coming. You might have seen this coming, Leo. Why is a ten of swords? Thank you. The standing stone. Libra energy. Um, yeah, it, it, it's funny again because that actually came out of the deck in reverse, but when I picked it up, it was the correct way up. So someone else is being really unfair, either towards you or towards your love interest. Why is death here, please? The two of ones. Right. You can see there's there's two little frogs leaving home and they're each carrying a wand. So this is indicating somebody is uh, fully prepared to walk away from a family situation if necessary in order to uh, maintain this particular relationship. Because in their headspace, you are their everything. Like you mean everything to them. Um, you make this person, well, I, I shouldn't say you make this person. 
you make each other very, very happy. And it's unfortunate that somebody around you is not in agreement with this particular setup, should we say. So we've got Will, both of you, with the two froggies, both of you are more than prepared to um, cut ties with certain people if needed so that you can maintain this relationship. Queen of Wands, Four of Coins, the Lord of Shadows, which is Death, again. The Ace of Coins and the Green Man, which is the Fool. Ace of Coins and the Green Man. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a brand new beginning. Some of you could be looking at uh, moving from your current location and starting afresh someplace else. It could be a new town, a new village, uh, a new country also for some of you. It could be. I'm seeing somebody selling off some possessions as well. You see this man, he's he's actually taking coins off the wall because you can see where the coins used to be. So he's not hanging them up, he's taking them down. He's taking them down. And then we've got um, taking action with the Queen of Wands. Somebody has the ambition um, they have the energy and the drive to match their ambitiousness with this Queen of Wands and somebody's really busy as well and I feel busy in the physical physically busy with something packing, moving, planning it's really strange symbology that they've used in this particular deck as well, because in this death card, it's called the Lord of Shadows, uh, which can pull up feelings of feeling like you're being watched. Uh, perhaps even feelings of you being watched and judged with justice being here as well. But also they've used a moth. And moth is uh, symbolic for the occult. But for me as a reader, it's also symbolic of an addiction. But it's the energy of death. And then you can see that this person is watching as two people are walking away. It's like a man and a child are walking away and this, this person's watching them. But the question is, are they, are they watching them or are they watching over them? You know, intent is literally everything. The, this energy is really weird, Leo. It, it's weird because it feels like there are certain individuals who are inserting themselves into your life and into your happiness and passing judgment on it, which can be really harsh with that death energy. in their heart space toward Leo, please. The Hermit. In their heart space. It's that soul searching. The Fool. Mm, two major arcana in their heart space. Wow. Um, very lethargic the way that these cards are coming out, Leo. The Four of Swords in the World. So... I'm not going to mention any of the Zodiacs, Leo, because it's kind of pointless at this point in the game. Um, you've got everybody out on the board, like literally. Uh, super strong Scorpio, Aquarius and Virgo energy so far, though. OK. Um, there's something with that lethargy energy. And that four of swords. Rest, rejuvenate, reconsider, meditate. It can also be a sickness as well. But I don't feel that this is about someone being sick. I feel that someone is acting in a way that is quite sick because of the, the levels of judgment and interference. Why the Four of Swords, please? Thank you. The Oak King. So that's a hangman. Wisdom and self-sacrifice. 
So it's strange because Leo, whoever your person is, they've got your back, right? That's not what's being called into question here. What is being called into question is, well, okay, yeah, they've got your back, but what is it that they're actually going to do about it? Because they, they don't, it, it's almost like, I mean, see, there's not even much communication here as well. The communication that there has been has been quite sort of harsh, I feel. Um, someone, someone has said something hurtful to your person. Nine of Wands, the King of Coins, the Chariot, the Battle Wagon, and the Seven of the Thames, the Seven of Swords. So is there some kind of lies that's being spread, either about you or about your person? Um, what is it they say? Bad news and gossip travels fast. And that is super fast in the battle wagon. Nine of Wands and the King of Coins. That's, that's indicating that somebody's willing to fight if necessary. Why, why are they in that hermit mode, though? with the hanged man because both of these could this be indicating that your person in their heart is currently going through a lot of deep deep introspection they're trying to figure out a lot of things that in particular that they're trying to figure out how exactly they feel about this betrayal that they saw coming like they've definitely seen this coming and then they've preemptively removed themselves out of the situation rather than in a response to the situation. It's like either you or your person preempted this and now in someone's heart space they're basically wondering did I or did we do the right thing? It's almost like someone's saying, did we jump the gun or did we do the right thing? So somebody is concealing exactly how hurt, betrayed and how sick they're feeling about the entire betrayal situation. I don't think that this is a timeline about somebody betraying you or you betraying someone, Leo. I feel that this is an outside energy. This is like a member of somebody's family who betrayed one of the two of you or both or both of you. Because from what I can make out with this particular energy, Vir uh, Virgo, Leo, is you're, you've both got each other's backs. Like you, you're both defending each other. You're both standing by each other. And someone else, someone else didn't account for that. They thought it was going to be a situation of um, divide and conquer. But it's not actually worked out that way. Because in someone's heart space, they're going, even though I don't really want to think about it right now, but I know I have to think about it, I will still cut ties with certain people if I have to. You see, you see, with this hangman energy, it's like they know what needs to be done deep down, but they haven't done it yet. That's why you're getting this um, externally stagnant energy with the hermit and the hangman. But internally, there is actually quite a lot that's going on. They just haven't taken that action on it yet, but it's coming. It's coming because there is some kind of bad news or gossip that has been invented so it's basically an outsider's trying to make you and your person look like you're the bad guys and it's not true it's a lie uh, the battle wagon and the seven of the things they're, they're spreading lies about you they're spreading gossip about you and you might need to um see with that king of coins energy you you might need to invest some of your finances to take it to court so that you can nine of wands defend yourselves against this person that that's spreading slanderous bullshit about both of you 
it's basically you see, you see with the illustration of this seven of the themes seven of swords it's basically somebody who would smile in both of your faces but then immediately turn to the person next to them and start bitching about you both so it's throwing shit in in your direction and then turning around quickly as if it wasn't them so that is definitely that kind of energy that's going on here Hmm. This has really hurt both of you. What actions will they take, please? Thank you. Wow. Okay. Upright or reverse? Reverse. Okay. The star in reverse. Hmm. The ace of coins. Yeah. So this brand new beginning between yourself and your person <laughs> the sun it's one of your cards there leo happiest card in tarot this brand new beginning between yourself and your person is happening whether a certain somebody likes it or not and a certain somebody would rather that it didn't happen their wish is not going to be granted it's not because clearly you and your person belong together, clearly. They're not going to have their wish granted at all. They, they cannot destroy this love that, that you two share with each other. In fact, this other person is making you and your person stronger as a team that the more that they try to insert themselves into your lives and into your business in their head they think that they're pushing you and, you and your partner further away from each other but in reality the complete opposite is actually happening you're maintaining that united front and you've got the sun joy success celebration happiest card in tarot Nothing would grow without the sun. Nothing would survive, never mind thrive, without the sun. Why is that star reversed, please? I tell you, see that third person, Leo? They're backing themselves into a corner. That's why your star is in reverse. Okay. Huh. The five of chalices. It's the five of cups. And look how that person, she's got three empty cups in the basket on the wall. She's got one cup down here, empty on the ground, and she is actively tipping out the final cup. And what was that I told you? that they're backing themselves into a corner. Yeah, that's exactly it. So what's actually going on is because, the, because this other person is adamant on trying to split you two up for whatever reason they have in their head, they're actively trying to do it. What they're doing instead of breaking you guys up, which is, of course, their goal. They're actually destroying the relationship that you and your partner have with them instead. So it's like them trying to be dest uh, destructive. I mean, they, they get their wish in a roundabout way because they're actively being destructive. And so, yes, they, they will destroy a relationship but it's not going to be the relationship that you have with you and your person nine of coins yeah you guys are tight you guys are solid for some of you that there, there might be um children involved whether they be young children or adult children doesn't make a difference a child is uh, your child is still your child, no matter how old or how young they are, okay? But there is absolutely a strong 
family unit here in this read where someone else is deliberately trying to break up that strong family unit. The, the two of the Thames. Yeah. You see them two gossiping in the field. One of them's holding a, a, a scythe. Coming up with a plan. Well, it's, it, it's not working. It's not working. What do we do now? And the, the five of the Thames. Five of swords underneath that one. Exactly. Um, th this is multiple people that, that's trying to interfere with this connection. Not just one. It's multiple people. Man, what a weird read. What else can you tell us, please, for Leo? Okay. Me and my ego. Pride or fear is getting in the way. Not contacting you, but thinking of you often and replaying over in mind. Me and my ego. Someone who is um, driven by the overwhelming sense of self-satisfaction, self-gratification, um, being very, very selfish, not thinking about who else can potentially get hurt um, should you just sit on your hands and allow them to continue this kind of treatment. Palm tree, stability, security, permeance, growth, endurance and flexibility. Yeah. You, you and your person, your, your partner, you have endured so, so much from this egotistical person. And now it's like, like enough is enough. We've tried to be flexible with this person. We, we've tried to be understanding. Um, but there, there's only so far that our generosity can stretch. You know, it's, it's much like a, the rubber band theory. You know, you can only stretch that rubber band so much until it smacks you back in the face. And unfortunately, you and your person, your partner, have been metaphorically smashed in the face once too often by this person. Some of their cool with whatever. Being chill, trusting the process, making decisions, living in the now, casual or no commitment. Being cool with whatever. So... Yeah, somebody isn't really that bothered by having to cut ties. You know, so, someone's very sort of uh, nonchalant about it. And they're like, well, to be honest with you, that they, they've had it coming for a long time. Because they don't know how to behave. They don't know how to treat people. They don't know when not to interfere, you know, it's that sort of thing. What else can you tell us for Leo in love? Why am I getting someone's ex-mother-in-law trying to interfere with someone's kids? I'm afraid to contact you. I will wait for a sign from you. I want to be more than friends. And sometimes I stay awake thinking about you with I am not available. You're not available, Leo. You're not available. Because as far as you're concerned, this is you and your partner and your kids, if there is, if there is any. And that's it. You're not making yourself available to anybody else at this time. And I feel that somebody is going to be pleading with you. This one's a bit strange. I want to be more than friends. And I'll wait for a sign from you. The one who's backed themselves into a corner is actually getting the message i don't feel that you're going to be hearing from that particular person anytime soon after this is all played out and you and your partner have made that joint decision to cut ties with them i don't think that they're going to contact you again immediately after right um there's something suspicious about this energy here given the fact that we've seen that there was more than one person that was 
actively trying to split up you and your person. There could well be a bit of a honey trap that's going on. So just be mindful of that, Leo. Someone could be trying to honey trap you or your partner. Because as far as this energy is concerned, like that doesn't make sense for what we've seen in your tower read because you have made it blatantly clear that there is only one person that you're particularly uh, interested in, you know, maintaining that relationship with. Everything happens according to divine timing for the best results. So you're not forcing anything, you're not, you're not um, trying to rush anything. And I'm thankful for the many things and my gratitude attracts abundance into my life. So you're trying to remain positive and optimistic then. You and your person. If this is a scenario, Leo, where somebody is pursuing you romantically, then I can tell you that your romantic pursuer is, um, I don't want to say obsessed with you because that might sound a bit nefarious, but I can't think of a better word for it right now. It, it's not obsessed in that sort of scary, threatening way. It's somebody being obsessed with the thought of having you in their life as their life partner. So that that's for those who are being pursued romantically and currently single. But for the majority of you, I can see that you're already coupled with another person. And that relationship's very, very strong. Really strong. Okay, um, bit of a mixed bag that one, Leo, but that is what I have for you. Uh, it's up to you what you do with this reading, okay? Please remember, tarot is not a scapegoat. It is not a crutch. It's a guide. You're the one that's in charge of your own destiny. If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading that is catered towards your own specific needs, then you can make your booking at phoenixkiatarot.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely Christmas and New Year when it comes. Okay, bye.